Now let's create a normal map for our hammer. So now we need to create a map that's going to apply to our low res to get some of the detail from our high res. And so let's select our hammer and we want to add a new material to it. And so I'm just going to hit M on the keyboard. We'll call this hammer low mat. And you can see it's added a new material mask in here. And so now we need to create a new uh, texture file that's going to hold this normal information. And so we'll create this manually. So we'll go to add layer image map and let's go to new image let's call this hammer normal we can just make a targa we'll save that and you can change the size if you want I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine at 2k if you feel like you want to get a little bit more resolution in there uh, you can increase that but there here's where you change the resolution and the format we'll leave, leave that uh, as is now we want to make sure to change this from hammer or from the diffuse color to normal and so I'll right click on this and go down to surface shading and choose normal as the effect. So now we have our empty texture file created that's going to apply to the normal of this material on this guy. So there's a few other things that I want to do. I'm going to go into the material and under the first tab I want to come down to surface normal smoothing angle and I'm going to go ahead and set this up to um, 89 degrees. So kind of smoothing out the uh, the normals the edge normals or the edges there and let's go ahead also and come over here to our high pieces and we want to have all these visible so I'm going to turn them all on and anything that we have subdivided or sculpted we want to go into the properties of so for instance the horn you can see I've gone ahead and just duplicated this simply by using mirror mirror that over in the X and let's jump down into the subdivision settings and under the Catmull Clark subdivision settings because this is sculpted you can see it's got six subdivision levels the current level is six so it's at its highest level but the render level is only at level two so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up to level six on the head we'll do the same thing and then anything else that is subdivided here you can see it's using regular subdivision two and two is fine same thing here and here on the pommel top we'll set that up to five and then the hoof same thing so it should all be good now so we want to make sure that all that high res is visible but we want to select the the low res and then also under lists we want to select the hammer UV map we want to have that selected okay and then we'll select the texture file so once we've got all of that done we can right click on this texture file and go to bake from object to texture so let's go ahead and hit that we can put a, a value in here, probably come in either zero meters, something like that. We'll go ahead and put in maybe 200 millimeters. Let's say OK. And it'll start the process of calculating that normal map. And you can see the relationship between the normal map it's building and the UVs that we uh, created. And so it's coming in here. You can see there's a little bit of artifact, but that's OK. And then it's going to pop that down onto our blue background and create our normal map. And so this is the texture that is applied here. So if I double click on that, you can see the texture loaded up here. So now this is applied to our low resolution piece here. So if I go back into our item list and let's turn off all the high res geometry, you can see now that we're getting a little bit more detail in here. So we're seeing some of the horns. It's pretty obvious that this is the game res model because of the um, kind of the silhouette here so you know if you wanted to come in and maybe make these horns a little bit higher res to you know really make that curvature work a little bit better then you could certainly do that but you can kind of see some of the detail coming through on these different pieces okay and then you can come in here and save this image you can save it out we've already placed it so if you want to save you can go over here to save images up at the top. You can't really see that over there off screen, but you can save those images out. And uh, that's how we can create a quick normal map.